Hey guys, RC here. Oh, should have had that up first. Oh well. RC here, back with our next episode. This is episode 5, I believe, for our 1978 season of Out of the Park 18. And real quick, yep, we are recording. Just wanted to double check. Uh, so, we are eight games up here in the early going as of June 1st, so we are off to a great start to the season. Uh, taking a look, we are fourth in runs scored, first in runs allowed, seventh in batting average, uh, eighth in on-base percentage, tied for third in home runs, and third in stolen bases, seventh in starter ERA, first in bullpen ERA, and second in defensive efficiency. So we are we are struggling a little bit uh, in the pitching category. Uh, Leonard and Guidry are doing outstanding. Uh, Bruno's not doing horribly but that is close to a four so could be better and Morris is really getting shelled um, I, I don't know what to do with him pitching stats I mean April was a good month not so much in May so you know I, I don't know where his where he's at now he's unhappy but that should be with his own performance um, let's see now there was also Bruce Souter diagnosis pending alright so he is hurt but we don't know how bad and they keep uh, that must be a stopper must have been a position in the 70s you know it was more this was before you had the bullpen, the bullpen really become a major player. You know, it was not uncommon for pitchers to pitch complete games. You know, when men were men, <laughs> type thing. Uh, you know, and you know, and and you rarely saw, uh, you rarely saw any type of uh, major action in the bullpen, and that's why you see really only three people getting into uh, into games here so curious to see what that's going to do with Suter I'm wondering who we will put in in his place but we'll find out we'll figure it out as we go so let's go ahead and sim our first week now we actually went into Uh, sorry about that. Um, we simmed ahead into the midweek because to get to the end of the month. Uh, but anyway, so we'll finish out the week. Okay, and there's the diagnosis. So it's two to three weeks. So we are going to put him on the DL. You know what? I am gonna bring up. I'm gonna bring up Quisenberry. He's on my roster. He's on my 40 man. Make him the closer, Littell. That bumps Bird up into the setup role. All right, and we will finish the week out at a trade proposal from Chicago, the White Sox. They all oh, now they want Lee May and Dave Rigetti. And they want to give us a old right fielder. Well, May I don't have an issue with. Let's discuss the trade. All right, I'm going to remove him. Now, 
Kelly is signed through the end of this season. See, the thing is, I don't particularly need... I don't really need... an outfielder. I think my outfield is pretty set. I mean, if I look at my outfield, McRae, Wilson, Otis, I mean, I, you know, I've got some guys there I don't even particularly want. 30, 31, 24. What about... I think I already ate the contract on that other guy. Hmm. Can I get Fergie's 35? No. 36. Ray Fossey. Anybody remember Ray Fossey? If I remember correctly, he is the catcher that Pete Rose ran over in the All-Star game. <laughs> uh, let's see. How about if I remove him and make this work now? Yeah. None of those guys are guys that I would be wanting to part with right now. But maybe what about split or? All right, well, we're going to pass on this offer then. I don't want to get to where I'm redoing trades completely. All right, and we are at Monday, so let's finish up the... All right, Gaylord Perry gets his 250th career win. 250 and 195. Rick Roden, an injury setback. And we maintain number two. Now this was a short week, so we lost to the A's. Jack Morris took the loss. Not a good game for him. Bruno, again, not a good game. Leonard, not a good game. But we still got the win. McRae with his seventh homer, and then Gidry got shelled. Wow. So all in all, a bad week for us. I don't know how we stayed at number two, but we did. Thank goodness it was a short week with the... Uh... <laughs> oh, well, you know, I guess... Yeah, I do. Okay, so it was this, but we had to carry over where we swept Milwaukee. Okay. Did we have just a... Oh, I'm sorry. We took two out of three from the A's there. We're down here. So we took two out of three. So we split the series with the A's. One and two against the Tigers. Eh. Yeah, 
not uh, not a real good uh, week after all. I don't know how we maintained our lead there. All right, 14 more emails. All right, Don Sutton shuts out uh, the Cubs. Tommy John shuts out the Rangers. Steve Rogers gets a shutout over the Giants. Al Oliver's day-to-day. -day. Rick Roden suffers another setback in his recovery. Thurman Munson, Player of the Week for the Yankees. Mike Schmidt, Player of the Week. And we maintain number two in the power rankings yet again. We take two out of three against the Yankees and then sweep Milwaukee, so happy with that. All right, Morris takes another loss. Golly. You are killing me there, Jack. Bruno with a solid outing, but he, he I don't know that he's just starter quality. That's that's my um that's my concern. He's got a lot of pitches, but Not sure he's really a starter. All right, Leonard, another no decision. And again, he gets hit pretty hard. Quirk, his second homer. McRae, his eighth homer of the season. Gidry gets his tenth win. He looks good. Uh, Jack, eight hits, no runs, so he pitches a strong game, so we can't complain about that. And then Bruno gets a win, a strong outing for him. Wow, so his ERA's gone up about a run in the last two weeks. Yeah, from two, well, in his last two starts, 17 earned runs in three games. Wow, not what we need out of our ace. <laughs> not what we need at all. Uh, Littell's doing well. Where are we at on Suter coming back? He's got a week left. All right. We'll sim another week. We're still up in that eight game win streak area. And that gets us to Monday. All right, where is Paul? Paul has a 497 ERA. Oh, that's not who I'm wanting. Uh, Quisenberry, two innings. You know what? We'll keep him up. Can I send him down? Yeah, okay. That'll get that. All right, that gets our rotation back to normal. Lyman Bostock goes five for six. And we're in the 78 season. He was actually killed after this season. Uh, he was involved in a murder from what I remember. I just remember he was with California and man, you know, we were expecting some big things out of him and Boom. Uh, over. So, glad to see him doing well. All right. Dreesen's second. Brett's first. McRae's third. Otis is first. Gidry. Oh, Gidry's in there, but... Uh, Leonard has fallen out, and Littell and Suter are in there, so that's good. 
power rankings we fall from second to fourth that doesn't bode well we take we drop two out of three to Cleveland and we take two out of three against Anaheim so not a good week for us Leonard takes another loss he is just getting lit up man Gidry gets the loss here yeah, if we if we're losing through our top two, man, we're in we're in big trouble. Uh, Morris gets the win, so he actually looks good in that outing. Burleson with two home runs, Otis his fifteenth. Okay, that was the win, eight to three. So Bruno gets a win. Burleson his fourth, Carbo his first homer of the season. Yeah, that, boy, I'm still upset over that trade a couple of videos back. Leonard finally gets a win. That's what we expect out of you. Brett with his eighth homer. Burleson his fifth. Dreesen his eighth. Oh, that's the one we just looked at. And that means Gidry took the loss. He went nine and two-thirds innings. Three runs. Good outing, but Dreesen his ninth home run. So we are fifth in runs scored, fourth in runs against. So they've started lighting us up a little bit. Eighth in average, ninth in on base. So we're not doing well there. Power numbers were good. Second in bullpen, first in defense, and eighth in starters. So yeah, we're we're struggling here. Struggle, struggle. Let's see, where are we at time-wise? We got time for another week, maybe even to finish the month. Alrighty. Uh Grub and Wilcox suspended for a fight. Phil Negro with a shutout. Steve Kemp with five hits. Nolan Ryan with a big win. Pete Vukovic shuts out our team. Don Sutton gets his 200th career win. Five hits for Dusty Baker. Fred Lynn, Player of the Week in the AL. Vance Law, 21-year-old shortstop. Broken kneecap, done for the year. And we maintain number four. Standing-wise, we are seven and a half up. So we're still hanging in there. So hanging, you know, still still keeping the distance between us and the Sox. Wilson's got 33 stolen bases. Leonard and Gidry in wins. Gidry in war. We drop two out of three to the Sox, not good, and then we take two out of three. So we're splitting the series. We're going six and six every week, and that's just not good. Or three and three, not good at all. Morris takes the loss. Brett Wilson with home runs. Bruno the loss. No runs scored. We got shut out. Gidry with the win. Now, wait a minute, wasn't it Bruno? It skipped Leonard? Wow, okay. Gidry gets the win. Interesting. Okay, there's Leonard. He got the win. Morris gets the win. Suter with number 17. Brett reaches his 10th home run of the season. And then Bruno takes the loss. Just uh, can't play consistent here. I don't know what the deal is. All right, trade proposal. Charlie Sands. 
Al Herbowski and Dave Rigetti. They want to give us a 30-year-old catcher for two pitchers, a number one draft pick and a former number one draft pick and an all-star. Yeah, we're, we're just going to reject that outright. <laughs> Come on, man. Personal message. All right, team record. We're second in home runs. All right, so it looks like we're actually on pace to do well. Willie Norwood, season ending injury. And we still have not gotten through the week yet. All right, trade proposal, Chicago. All right, I don't know what that means, retaining 85%. Oh, I think that means we have to keep, pick up 85% of his salary. Yeah, uh, bite me. And finish out the day. There we go. All right, so Pete Rose gets his hit streak to 20 games. Reggie Jackson out for five weeks. Ryan Guidry both have good outings. Willie Stargell gets his 2,000th career hit. Don uh, Bob Baylor, okay. Fred Lynn, Player of the Month. Dave Kingman. Matt Keogh, Nolan Ryan, Gary Reedus, Bob Horner, Players of the Month. Rose has his hit streak snapped at 21. Sixto Lescano. Boy, I recognize that name. That's one of those just unusual names that you remember. Three to four weeks. And power rankings. Holding steady at number four. All right, let's go back to June. All right, Oakland takes two out of three. And then one and one. We lose three out of four to the White Sox. Gee whiz. Well, I'm only going to look at the wins this week. Morris got one of them, surprisingly. And Guidry got the other one. McRae with his ninth homer in that game. Man, that is, uh, oof. So our lead's down to six. So that's actually our first losing week in a while. Hmm. All right, well, that is where we were at. So let's see, if coming into July, uh, Boston with a huge lead over the Indians. Our Royals have a six-game lead over the Sox. The Sox and the Indians, the Yankees are a game back, game and a half back for the Rangers, three back for the Angels for the wild card. Philly with a two-game lead, Cubs just two and a half back. Dodgers and Reds are separated by just a game and a half. Uh, that division is going to be a two-horse race, it looks like. You've, only, you've got five teams within four and a half games. Uh, the Reds, the Giants are in the lead for the wild card. The Mets a half game back, Cubs one game, Cardinals Pirates three games back. So even the fifth place team up here is right in the wild card hunt. So we'll call this one a done uh, video for this one. Thanks for checking it out. We'll see you next time. Take care. Bye.